The next category is for the best British single. And to make the presentation, a gentleman who honoured Live Aid by getting his band back together, especially for the occasion. From The Who, the legendary rocker, Mr. Daltrey. <laughs> So, I mean, you were working in July, but what have you been doing since then? Yeah, I've been in Antigua. I went oh. to escape Terry Wogan and I found out he was coming, so... <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, nice, nice. What were you doing in Antigua? Just vacation, yeah. Good. Oh. Very good. OK. Um, we'll go with the nominations before we find out exactly who's walking off with the title, the best British single. Will it be David Bowie and Mick Jagger dancing in the street? Kate Bush again, running up that hill. Dire Straits, Money for Nothing, Paul Hardcastle, no, 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 19, and Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Tell us, which one is it going to be? The best British single is uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. <laughs> Cheers for Fears! Well, um, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, our record company, Phonogram in Britain and Polygram Worldwide. Everyone at Outlaw, our management company, especially Paul King and Paul Crockford, who had all the confidence in us. Uh, the other two group members who go unnoticed, Ian Stanley and Manny Elias. David Bascom, our engineer. Our road crew on tour, who looked after us for nine months of last year. And last but not least, Chris Hughes, our producer who um, persuaded us to do a song that originally we had no confidence in at all. So, from a very pleasant and humble group, thank you very much. <laughs> 